So measuring the distance between two sub tools is actually really straightforward. So I'm going to show you how to do it first, and then I'm going to give you some context on top of that. So here I have a lightsaber that I was working on, you know, May the 4th is coming. So we got to get those Star Wars vibes started early. And here I'm actually looking at the fact on my list, I have quite a few sub tools and I would like to measure from this point to this point. So I know exactly what that is. So the easiest and fastest way to measure between two sub tools is to turn on your gizmo. And then I like to hit Y on the keyboard to bring up my transpose line. And what this will do is when I use the transpose line, it's going to snap to the first point that I click. If I press and hold the shift button and I drag on down, it's going to snap to the next point. Now at the very top, you're actually going to see here that it's giving me a distance of 0.2817 units. Now the units are just defaulted at units. So what we can do now is bring in the context of how to get an accurate measurement. So I'm actually going to want to size this. So I'm going to go up to Z plugin and I'm going to go to scale master and I'm going to create a new bounding box subtool. This is going to help make an accurate measurement of my entire object. And then I'm going to turn on the wireframe just so that you can see that this bounding box actually gives you some edge loops perfectly in the middle that you could snap to. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and say set scene scale. And by doing this, I'm going to pick a measurement that I would like to work in. And in this case, I would like to work in millimeters since I'm probably going to 3D print this. So I'm going to say millimeters. And now I actually want to size this up and I'm probably going to want this just a few inches tall. So let me dock this on the left hand side. And I'm now going to go on the Y axis and we're going to call this actually let's go 75 millimeters tall and just say resize with all sub tools. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this. It takes a minute. Look at all that magic. Boom. Now it is resized. So from here, if I wanted to know the overall size of this of the actual sub tool itself or the object, I could actually just go ahead and bring that transpose master line back up. And as I'm dragging, you can see here that again, by holding shift, it's going to give me a straight line and that's going to allow me to go ahead and measure the entire width. Of course, this measurement is also here set in stone. So now to measure in the, between the two sub tools again, I would do the exact same thing I did before. I would go back to that lens separator object that I have. I'll zoom in and I'm actually going to drop it down to the low subdivision so you can clearly see the points here. And I'm going to go ahead and drop this down here like such. And now again, I'm going to take this object. I'm going to that transpose line, drag, hold shift, click to that point. And at the very top, it's giving me 5.6779 millimeters. So that's how you would measure any distance between two sub tools in ZBrush.